Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise, I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a budget-friendly synthetic wig. This is a wig by a seller called Lemon Wigs, and it's $20 as of the filming of this video on their website. They did send this to me so that I could check it out and share it with all of you. They also sell on Amazon. There's the tag. Let's see. It's so white. I don't know. There might be too much glare. There we go. They're considered fashion wigs, but I think they're actually pretty good for being $20. So if you want to know more about this long wig and my thoughts about it, they also um, carry shorter wigs, then stick around for the rest of this video and I will tell you my impressions. Lemon Wigs reached out to me on Instagram and asked if I would be willing to partner with them and try one of their wigs and if I liked it, if I'd be willing to share a review on it. One of the reasons why I said yes is because they said it would be my choice to share a review if I wanted to or not. A lot of times when I get uh, messaged or emailed from these um, budget-friendly, low price wig retailers, it's always, we'll send you a free wig for a five-star review, and I'm not willing to compromise my integrity or my honesty just to get a free cheap wig. So I always uh, respond back that I only um, give honest assessments and honest reviews, and so I can't promise a five-star review until I've seen the piece, and almost 100% of the time, I never hear from those sellers again. So... Uh, I just want to give you guys a kind of a warning. Proceed with caution on these Amazon sellers because you never know if you're going to get a good one or not. But Lemon Wigs was very different. Their approach was very professional. Um, the email was very professional, or the message, I should say, because it was on Instagram. Um, they uh, gave me a couple of different choices of wigs I could choose from, and they didn't say that I needed to provide any type of a review. They said, if you like it, we would love it if you would share it. So I like it, so I'm sharing it. Let me show you this from all sides, and then I'll tell you uh, a little bit more. So for a $20 wig, <laughs> this is actually quite good. This is not a $300 wig. This is not an Aesthetica wig, a, a John Renault wig, a Beltrus wig, any of those major name brands, if you're familiar with them, that's not this piece. So first of all, you need to get your expectations in line with what you're purchasing. And I am hearing more and more from people that the wigs that I review are too expensive. And I don't disagree that they're very expensive, but you pay for, you get what you pay for in many times. And if you are looking for a wig that you can wear every single day, if you're suffering from hair loss and you want something to replace your bio hair that looks extremely realistic, that's going to come with a price tag. But if you are looking for something for fun, for fashion, um, I'm not saying you couldn't wear this one every day. It definitely looks, it, it looks pretty realistic actually. But the fibers are not the same quality as those high-end synthetic wigs. They're, they're, they feel more like kind of like wig hair, doll hair. They're rough. They're not super soft and silky. They get a little bit tangled, but I'm surprised by how little this actually tangles. Um, I've dealt with a little bit of shedding. So when I comb through it and I run my hands through it, I do get the slightest bit of shedding. Let's get you. You can kind of see that a little bit. That is really common, even with higher end wigs, but I would say with the more budget friendly wigs, that's pretty common. This is a great opportunity for me to share something that I've said in previous videos about when wigs start to age and get older. Just because the hair doesn't feel great 
does not mean that it doesn't look great. And I do think this looks very realistic. It's not super shiny. It's not super wiggy looking. It's just that the fibers aren't the soft, silky fibers that you may be used to getting from some of the higher end wigs. So manage expectations. But this one, if you're looking for something long that just to have fun with, um, and you don't want to spend a lot of money for that, this could be a great option for you. And also, if you're looking for a wig that you can practice with, that you can make into a hat wig or anything like that, uh, a budget-friendly wig like this, let's say you get it and it's not quite you. You know, you're, maybe there's some things about it. The rooting is too dark or something like that. There's so much you can do with wigs. You could use it as a practice wig. So it's great in that regard. Let's talk about uh, the, the construction of this cap. So this cap is a basic cap. They do, though, have a simulated part line out at the top here. So that is the part that's the simulated part line. I've seen it like this on other budget-friendly wigs. It's not a monofilament. It's not a mono part. It's not a mono part atop. It's just a piece of kind of plasticky material that they fix in one spot that kind of gives the appearance of scalp. And I do think that from a distance, if somebody's not right up on top of you, it does look pretty realistic actually, but you're not changing that part at all. It is fixed, it is just that one little spot. The rest of this is a basic cap. So it's right in there and there's nothing that you're doing to change that part around. And it is a center part. It has um, ear tabs with metal stays in them so you can adjust them. It does not have an extended nape and the, um, oh, I'm in the back part. Sorry, that's the front part. It does have an extended nape. I'm getting myself all turned around on this one and it has hook adjusters so you can tighten it. This wig is absolutely big head friendly. If you have larger head measurements, if you um, you know, are often looking for large cap sizes in wigs, this one is big on me quite a bit and it has a ton of stretch. If you are petite or average petite, unless you're comfortable modifying caps to be smaller, this is going to be too big for you. And I, you know, it's the first one I've tried from them, so I cannot say whether that's true of all of their wigs, but my, my experience, I do have a little bit of experience with more budget-friendly wigs that I've tried on Amazon in the past, and they do tend to, in my opinion, to run a little bit bigger overall. So if you are kind of average petite or petite, it might not be a bad idea to watch some videos to learn how to modify caps to make them smaller. It's really not that hard to do, and it will open up the world of wigs to you if you struggle with that. Um, this wig comes with this sort of curtain bang. Now let's take a look at this front. There's no lace front, and so you do want to keep the wig down um, so that you can't tell that you know where that line is. If you have bio hair that you can pull out here, this would be a great wig to do that with. Just a little bit of bio hair pulled out and blended in will make that look a lot more realistic. If you don't, a couple of options. One would be to cut a full bang in this one. I think this one would be adorable with a full bang. Look at that. I definitely think so. So if you wear bangs, this is a great one for a full bang. If you don't though, then you're gonna wanna be cautious. It does hang in my face quite a bit. And if you try to play with this too much, you're gonna be able to see like a little bit of permatease. You're gonna be able to see where that cap is right there. So just be careful. I think this one would do a lot better with a bang or you could maybe put some makeup on there or something to sort of hide that transition. If you're gonna be inside and you're not gonna be out in a wind and you're not gonna be running around, maybe you're going to dinner, maybe you're going to, I don't know, a, a show, a play, a movie, a concert, and you're not gonna be running around, I think it'll be fine. But as soon as this starts to blow around or move around, you might have to worry a little bit about of seeing something if you don't either cut a bang in or find a way to blend that. Not a deal breaker for a $20 wig. I think it's just one of the things that you can expect to deal with. This one does say that it is heat friendly, I believe. I was looking at that somewhere. 
You know, I thought it said maybe on the website that it's heat friendly. I'll put that in the description. I can't quite remember that it comes with very few things. It comes with a bag. It comes in this bag that says lemon wigs on it. It has this cardboard form in there to sort of hold the wig in place. And then the wig just had a netting on it. That's how it shipped to me. So it's no frills, no fancy box or anything like that. But I definitely think if you're looking for a wig that you can do updos with, now this is really big on me and I don't have a wig grip on, so I can't do too much without pulling it off my head, but you can put it in ponytail. And you know, I've shown you in other videos how to do updos where you pull it down in the back, you maybe cut a little bit of baby hairs in with a, a razor comb or something, but this could be a great wig to do that with. So I'll link a, a couple of my updo videos in the description in case you've never seen them. So that if you're looking at this and thinking, I don't know if I'd like it, I don't typically wear long wigs, but gosh, it looks so cute. You can put this one up. I have a wig that looks almost exactly like this one. It's called Peerless by Beltrass. It's almost $400 and it looks almost exactly like this. And I wear that one in updos all the time. As a matter of fact, the video I'm going to put in the description for you is me putting Peerless in an updo. You could do the exact same thing with this wig. And I think that would be so cute. And because it's not the most realistic feeling wig with the fibers, if you were to get it up and kind of back it in updo and you know figure out this front, that's not gonna be an issue at all. I just honestly think this is such a cute wig for $20. The color, I'm I'm forgetting the color. The colors are hard because they don't have a lot of description. I think this was like a, a light brown ombre or something like that on Amazon, which is where I first looked at it. But then they sent me a link to their website and it's not called that. So I'll put a link in the description for you to this piece. And if this is a, if this is the color you're interested in, it has a super dark root, very dark. I'm in my bedroom window right now. This is all natural light on me, 100%. No artificial lighting on me at all. So you're getting a, a kind of a natural light look at this. And then it goes from a super dark root and then kind of melts into this sort of light caramel with some blonde tones. And it's like almost like a... And then it's a little bit darker here at the nape. It's almost like a, gosh, I see caramel, I see blonde, I see some kind of orange, like an orangish copper almost, but it's not red, it's not coppery, but it's just got a really interesting blend of these like light caramely brown, some sort of a reddish hued um, kind of, strawberry blonde. I mean, it just has a lot of really fun colors. And then the ends, look at how much darker and kind of oranger. Oranger, is that a word? <laughs> how much more orange the ends look compared to the blonde up here. So you definitely have some fun fashion stuff going on. And then if you wanted to do an updo with this one, and let's say you were to clip it in an updo, look at how fun that, then you really make that color there pop. It's, I don't know. It's a fun wig, you guys. So 20 bucks is what it, it was the last time I looked on their website. You know, prices change, but it's not going to go up to $100. So just note that if you're going to consider getting a wig like this, it might need a little bit of work to make it your own. Some trimming, some thinning. It doesn't have permatease at all. But it does have a fair amount of hair. I mean, it's it's a kind of a heavy piece. It has a fair amount of hair, but it has no permatease. So there's no poofy, pillowy permatease anywhere up here. Really cute. All right, you guys, that's it. Lemon wigs. I will put some in, um, information in the description so you can go check them out if you have experience with lemon wigs. Leave that in the comments. Let us know. What do you think of them? What was your experience with them? I only have this one experience with them so far. I haven't tried any other pieces and I didn't purchase this. They sent it to me. So it is important to me that we know a new retailer needs to prove themselves. And so we'd like to, to know about it if any of you have experienced that wasn't great. But otherwise, here's a budget retailer for you. So if you're looking for fun wigs and you just can't stomach the cost of the more expensive wigs, maybe try one of these. Just know there are differences, big differences, but not enough for me to say don't, don't try it. So thanks for watching, you guys. I'll talk to you soon.